Show me the order. No, show me the order. A woman documents as her neighbor is detained by immigration authorities. No, it doesn't say superior court. At one point, she gets in front of the SUV. You can't take her. Alicia Rivera repeatedly asked for a warrant signed by a judge. It's not signed by the judge. I spoke to her partner early this morning, and he's devastated. The two daughters are devastated. She's raising concerns about the unmarked vehicles and the scene left behind after she says her neighbor was pulled out of her car in Echo Park Sunday morning. They left the car with the emergency light on, blocking the road, and they took the keys. Immigration and Customs Enforcement did not comment on this particular case without additional details about the woman's identity, but said in part about judicial warrants. The idea is simply a figment created by those who wish to undermine immigration enforcement and excuse the ill-conceived practices of sanctuary jurisdictions that put politics before public safety. The ACLU says when agents show up at someone's door, they should not open unless there is a search or arrest warrant signed by a judge. The nonprofit Churla is now taking on this case and says it does does set an example both for bystanders and immigrants who could be detained. Stay silent, um, ask to speak to, ask to be able to speak to an attorney or you can con contact a family member who will hopefully coordinate for you to get someone to consult with you. Immigration experts tell us ICE cannot pull over a car unless they have a reasonable suspicion the person is undocumented. Churla attorney Yolanda Martin says even when someone is detained, they have rights. You have the right to, you know, fight your case. You have the right to appear before a judge and ask for relief from removal. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.